Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast. Now, I have a big question for you all today. Drone deliveries. Will they take off? You see what I did there? <laughs> I must admit, I was in the no camp until I saw a drone video go viral. I think it was in North Carolina, where a drone company delivered a a cup of Starbucks to a customer without spilling a drop. And it spurned a viral video too. So imagine sitting at home and suddenly wanting something, whether it be a pumpkin spice latte before they disappear for a year or headache tablets or a bag of crisps or I don't know, whatever it is. And then... Ten minutes later, a drone brings it directly to your door. This really got me thinking. So I I was able to track down the company, and they're called Flytrex, and I invited them on the podcast today. So buckle up and hold on tight as I beam your ears all the way to Tel Aviv, where Yariv Bash is waiting to share the story behind Flytrex and how drone deliveries are going to become a real thing near you much sooner than you think. And I'll add that video just to bring that to life too. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? I'm Yeriv Bash. I'm an electronics engineer. And today I'm the co-founder and CEO of Flytrex Aviation. And we uh, perform deliveries using drones. So whether you'd like to order a hamburger or a ketchup bottle, or even Tylenol for your headaches, we're there to deliver your goods uh, as fast as possible. It's incredibly cool. There's been so much talk about drone deliveries, and a lot of people may think, well, it's not actually happened. But as soon as I heard that you guys were doing just that, I had to get you on the podcast. Mm-hmm. But before we, we dive any deeper in that, into that, can I ask that you share your origin story with me and where your love of technology and later drones came from, and ultimately what put you on this flight path that you're on today? <laughs> Uh, that that's uh, that, you know I, I can talk about that for two hours. <laughs> so uh, uh, I've always loved flying machines, and even uh, as an electronics engineer, it still amazes me that we uh, we can build things that stay aloft in the air. Um, after getting my uh, engineering degree in electronics, I uh, worked for the government for a few years, and back in 2010, I actually thought it might be nice to send an unmanned spacecraft to the moon. And together with two other friends, I started a not-for-profit called Space IL, as in Space Israel. And back in 2019, we were the first private entity in the world to ever launch something to the moon, something that until then was only done by the Soviet Union, by the United States and China. As empires, Space IL did as a private not-for-profit organization from Israel. Uh, we ended up landing a bit faster than expected, uh, roughly 3,000 kilometers per hour instead of 10. Uh, but now Space Air is working on a second attempt to uh, land an unmanned, unmanned spacecraft on the moon. Oh, man, how cool is that? So here in 2021, can you introduce the listeners to Flytrex, what it is and what problems you solve, and ultimately what makes you unique from other solutions out there? Flytrex is all about the uh, what we look like to call the future of instant gratification. And in a few years, or even today, if you're located in a few locations in North Carolina, you can get anything you want from a hamburger to a Tylenol, Tylenol for your headache in a press of a button within just a few minutes without any delivery fees or tipping or, or any other hidden fees. And that's what we're here to do. And basically, it's a win-win situation. Uh, Drones enable us to perform very affordable deliveries that are a lot faster than anything that's currently available. So uh, instead of restaurants today, having to work with current on-demand companies and pay up to 30% of the amount ordered in, uh, in fees to those companies, we can charge a lot less and make everybody very happy with our services. 
And I think it's regulation that has held the industry back for a long time. But can you tell me a little bit more about how technology and regulation have actually come together in recent years to create a more viable framework for safe and secure drone innovation right across multiple applications? And also, how have you been helping drive that regulatory advances aimed at getting drone deliveries off the ground? So that's a, a great point. And, uh, you know, drone deliveries or commercial drone opportunities have been a, uh, a pie in the sky for a decade or so now, uh, yeah. pun intended. Uh, the, um, if you'll see our drone, it looks like a regular drone that you can uh, order online or perhaps assemble in your backyard. But our drones are certified as a commercial airplane by the Federal Aviation Administration. Uh, we have to go through the same process as Boeing, Cessna, and Airbus. Uh, to be approved. And as you could imagine, uh, certifying a commercial airplane takes a few more than a few years. And that's why we haven't seen any uh, real, you know, large deployments of, of drone deliveries or uh, other uh, commercial drone uh, activities. But we're really at the, at the verge of that happening. Flytrex has already received approvals that, as far as we know, uh, no other company has approved uh, has received approvals for in the US. And hopefully next year, uh, we're going to be approved for flights all over the US on a federal level. And that means that we'll be able to start uh, deploying stations anywhere where we can serve customers. And I'm curious, in, in this digital age of instant gratification, do you think the demand for drone deliveries will increase? And do you think it will happen a lot sooner than, than many people listening will actually think? Well, in terms of demand, well, if you can get anything you want delivered to your house in 10, 15 minutes mm -hmm. without paying any additional fee besides paying for the item's price as if you went, went to the store, I think that the uh, demand question is, you know, that, that's that's already solved. Yeah. Uh, in terms of technology and regulations, then yes, uh, people are, st are still very skeptical because you're you're, you're not seeing uh, huge deployments of drone deliveries yet. But during next year, we're going to start seeing large deploy deployments, and in the next few years, uh, I think it's going to be uh, it's going to spread out as fast as those uh, mobility scooters have been uh, spreading out in different towns all over the world. And I also think over the last 18 months, so much has changed in the world. And in the wake of COVID-19 and social distancing, etc., and there's an increasing um, focus on a contactless world and contactless convenience. So what role do you see drone delivery systems playing in society? So, yeah, there's that point as well where the, uh, the system is completely autonomous. And in terms of COVID-19 or even your privacy, yeah. we don't have any cameras. So um, drones are just a better means of, of performing deliveries. They're also a lot greener. If you think about the alternative today, especially in, uh, in the US suburbs where we're operating, the alternative today to bringing you a pizza is a guy driving a one-ton car to deliver that pizza. And, and when you think about it, it's, it's outrageous. You're moving one ton from one place to the, uh, to the other just to get you a pizza. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when it comes even to the uh, 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 green effect of, of switching to drones, it's, it's going to help uh, make the world a better place. And a few years ago, I spent a bit of time in Arizona where they were test bedding all the autonomous vehicles out there. And there was a slight resistance to technological change from uh, people in the area. Some were even running the cars off the road. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't laugh, but that, that's the kind of thing that was happening there. So mm -hmm. I'm curious, what do you think the biggest challenges are here? Is it adoption? Are you, are you going to get people resistant to change? Are people going to try and shoot them out the skies and things? What are your biggest challenges right now? So, from what we're seeing, uh, the first time you get a drone delivery, the entire family is out taking selfies yeah. and videos and uploading it. By the third or fourth time, uh, you just get a notification on your phone and you go outside and pick up the uh, the package. As simple as that. It, it's, it, it transitions from uh, something cool and unique to just another day of drone delivery very fast. And so far, that's what we're seeing. Uh, while we're cruising, you can't hear us. You can barely see us. We uh, lower the package from 25 meters or 82 feet or so uh, in the air using a tether. 
So it's, uh, it's not like a lawnmower landing in your backyard. It's, uh, it's a lot quieter than you'd expect and very fast, a lot faster than a, uh, a scooter or a truck uh, pulling by your house to uh, deliver a package. So, so far, all the responses that we're getting from our uh, three different stations are very positive. Excellent. And you touched on this a few moments ago, but I did read that Flytrex expects to gain airworthiness certification mm-hmm. from the FAA in the not-so-distant future. How, how far off is that? And do you think once that happens, again, we're using a lot of puns today, but do you think the sky's mm-hmm. the limit once you get that approval? Absolutely. Uh, there are dozens of drone delivery companies. There are a handful of drone delivery companies working on getting the airworthiness certification. And as I've mentioned before, that's the uh, same kind of certification that Boeing and Airbus gets for their airplanes. And once you have that, you're good to go on the national level and you're good to start integrating in the, into the national airspace. And that's going to be a, uh, if you want to call it a zero to one moment, you could, even though it's, uh, you know, it's, there is progress before that, but that's going to be an amazing, uh, an amazing time. And, According to the FAA, that's expected hopefully in the next few months. Back so we're not alone. Yeah, there are a few companies doing that, pursuing that. But we're in good company in, with companies such as Amazon or Google. Yeah, sounds like we're going to have to get you on next year once you've got that approval mm-hmm. and see what's happening. But what, Can you tell me a little bit more about that road ahead for Flytrex and, and your role in bringing about a future where drone delivery is the rule, not just the exception? Because I think right here, right now in what – we're recording this at the end of October in 2021. It will seem like almost science fiction to many people listening all over the world. But within just a few months, that could be very differently. But can you paint that picture of what you're going to be working on? So we already have a few thousands of customers in North Carolina who are already enjoying that future. And all they have to do is open their phone, select a few items, just like with any other on-demand uh, delivery company. And 15 minutes after that, they get a notification. The drone lowers the package to the backyard. And that's about it. It's okay. as simple as that. And that's the, the goal of Flytrex as a company. It's not just about the drones. It's about giving you the entire experience as a consumer, end-to-end. Your ability to get anything you want as, as fast as possible. And I'm curious, you mentioned headache tablets there, but in, in your mm-hmm. test uh, in North Carolina, what are the most popular items that people are sending for and, and wanting to get their hands on quickly? That, that's a great question. So from the uh, uh, from one side of groceries, uh, you'd be surprised, but a lot of, a lot of people are ordering uh, fresh vegetables. Huh? Uh, on the uh, side of the fast food, then you, you've got hamburgers, hamburgers, uh, People love Starbucks in North Carolina, apparently. I think these are the uh, the main products. Uh, some energy drinks as well. I think these are the ones that stand out uh, from the rest. Wow. So you can deliver a Starbucks without spilling it with a drone. Is that right? Correct. Uh, there's actually a very nice video of one of our customers who filmed it and uh, uploaded it to, uh, to TikTok. And after a few days, we, we heard about it because it reached 2 million views in like two days. And she's ordering a few Starbucks drinks for her and the kids. And you can see her opening the, the bag and it's intact without a, a single drop spilling. Oh, man. Well, at the end, when we finish recording this podcast today, if you can send me a copy of that video, I'll add it to the show notes so people can see that. Because I think it really it's really helpful to help everyone listening visualize that, hey, I heard about this on a podcast today. And people will go, wow, well, that'll never happen. But then when you see somebody there receiving a Starbucks delivered from a drone, I think it just brings everything to life, doesn't it? I totally agree. And the, uh, the, the, at the end, you know, the best marketing is happy customers. 100% with you on that. Well, we, we'll get you back on the podcast next year when you've got that approval and see how things are expanding. But before I let you go today, we started talking about your origin story. I'm now going to uh, ask you what's been the soundtrack to your career in tech. Is there a song or piece of music that has accompanied you throughout your career or just helps get your head in the zone? And please tell me it's uh, I Believe I Can Fly or is it something <laughs> else? <laughs> I, I try to listen to, to almost everything. Uh, 
can't think of anything uh, specific that comes to uh, to mind. Okay. Mm, I have to think about that and then get back to you. Uh, but usually I just shuffle everything and uh, try to enjoy most of it. Yeah, I love that. It can't be a good shuffle now and again and have something <laughs> random appear on there. And Before I let you go, for anyone that would like to find out more information about Flytrex, there's probably a few videos on there, etc. or if uh, there's any potential partners on the horizon or anyone in North Carolina that wants to uh, find out more information or contact your team, what's the best starting point? Well, you can go to uh, flytrex.com. Flytrex is uh, fly, as I believe I can fly, and Trex. T-R-E-X, as in T-Rex, in one word. Uh, you can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. Uh, we're basically everywhere, so it's uh, not easy to, uh, n- not too hard to, uh, to find us. Uh, if you want to contact us directly, then you can go to our website, and there's a, uh, a form there where you can send us messages as well. Excellent. Well, I'll add all those links to the the show notes there so people can find you nice and easy. I've got to admit, I'm quite excited to see this Starbucks drone video. So I will be adding that to the show notes of this Amazing. so anybody can find it. But more than anything, just thank you for sharing your story with me today. Uh, thank you, Neil. It's, uh, it's been my pleasure. So first it was two-day shipping, then next-day shipping. And the natural progression is same-hour delivery, which is only achievable at scale via things like drones and drone deliveries are not only fulfilling that growing instant gratification culture but also relieving vehicle congestion and catering for rural areas too so in this age of instant gratification more and more consumers have come to expect the ease and convenience of on-demand delivery and as i've said many times in the past on this podcast that something you experience today becomes the standard expectation for every future interaction So uh, food for thought indeed. So check out the video on the show notes and the blog post over at my website, techblogwriter.co.uk. Go to podcasts. You should find this episode and uh, I'll include that video there. But please, your thoughts on drone deliveries, keep them coming across to me along with any questions and pictures to come on the show by simply emailing me, techblogwriter at outlook.com or send me a DM on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram at Neil C. Hughes. But that's it for today. So a big thank you for listening. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.